If you keep messing with that man, this is how you're going to look before you're 40. That has nothing to do with the man. Let's keep it a buck. That has nothing to do with the man. That's aging, and it probably has a lot to do with you not taking care of yourself, not taking care of your skin, not working out, not eating healthy. There's a lot of things that go into that. Please stop blaming men for everything. Believe me, there's somebody out there. Forget this face. There's somebody out there that wants to, that wants you to put them before yourself. Never Put somebody before yourself. Take care of you and you only. Be singular. Stand alone. And that is just bad messaging from an older woman like that. Because, see, a lot of these women will take that to the extreme. It doesn't just stop with them. It applies to their children. It applies to their friends. It applies to their partner, husband, wife, whatever the case may be. They don't know how to put that in check. You see what I'm saying? Because women are somewhat selfish by nature and if it's not overblown it's a good thing but when you advise women and you keep stressing be singular be alone stand alone don't put anyone in front of you and all of that it, it just takes it to the to the to the extreme level and a lot of these women cannot shut it down that's why you hear a lot of these women saying it's all about me it's all about me it's all about what i want a man has to show me that he can get with my program that's what these women hear when you say things like that to women and i think older women that do this are, are doing women a dishonesty you know let these women live their own lives you can advise them but don't try to tell them to be self more selfish more singular because you had a bad experience in your life because you can't turn back the clock and be young again a lot of these women are giving advice to these to these other women because they cannot turn back the clock because they can't get in that dating market and be competitive with the 20 year olds the 30 years old year, year olds or they've been married 30 40 years or something like that and now they want to change and they can't so now you got to tell these women don't have the same experiences i had don't get with the man don't marry a man don't have children don't do this don't do anything that has anything to do with the man because you are, your face will look like this you will age out really quick this is because of that come on now you ladies need to stop doing this to these younger women out there it's pathetic and i know that when you were younger more than likely you didn't hear all of that from older women it depends on what generation you are, but you, older people like me, we didn't hear that. You ladies didn't hear that. I know you didn't because I have family and cousins and I heard the conversation. You didn't hear that. But right now, what you see is just a lot of extreme hating, I believe, coming from these older women under the guise of we're all women and I'm an older woman. So you should listen to me. It's just ridiculous. It's not called selfish. Yes, it it's is. It's called self-care. Do things for yourself, as in going to the gym, doing your makeup every morning. Keep yourself up, but do not let that man drain you from you trying to give him everything out of you to make him happy. Aren't those things that you should be doing anyway? Aren't those things that you should have done before you got in a relationship? It's not a man's fault that you chose not to take care of yourself. You chose not to go to the gym. You chose to have a whole lot of babies and not, you know, make sure your body was tight after that. You, ch you chose to eat bad things and all this stuff. How is that a man's fault? You see, what this is, is a lot of personal projection. And you can see right here in this moment how she's, look at the look on her face. You can tell she's angry. This is personal projection, ladies. And you need to be aware of that. Don't let these women ruin your life because you're trying to live through their life. Because you're, you're living your life through their lens. That is what they want you to do. Misery always loves company until you move, make a move out. That's all it is. Love yourself. And you heard what grandma said. She came with the love yourself. You heard what grandma said. <laughs> Look, you're supposed to love yourself, but that is supposed to start before you even get into a relationship. You can't get into a relationship. Don't really care about yourself. Don't really love yourself 
and then blame men for it because you as an individual person didn't take accountability for your own actions. You don't hear men rolling around talking about women are to blame for my body. Women are to blame because I look older. Women are, are to blame because I have gray hair. Women are to blame because I'm not young anymore and I can't compete with the younger guys, et cetera, et cetera. You don't hear that because men don't teach other men to do that. They just don't. Everybody has a has a has a um, an opportunity to live their own life to gain their own experiences. And I think when you start telling people to be selfish and not think about anyone else and be singular and stand alone, you're just being counterproductive to what it means to be a human being. As human beings, we're not meant to be alone. We all have a role. Men need women and women need men. That's just facts. But the thing is, you have to figure out how to navigate that the right way. And you're not going to navigate it the right way when you're just constantly blaming the other person. Everybody has issues. Everybody needs to address things in their lives. Everybody can improve their relationships. But the problem is, is that it's always the man's fault. It's never the woman's fault. And that is the problem. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. Again, this is always my opinion. Um, so let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments. Make sure to like the video for me. Give me um, a subscribe on YouTube if you can. And if you're on TikTok, make sure to give me a follow and show me show me some love over there. I'd appreciate it. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube, and this happened in the last couple days. So I just wanted to tell you guys I really do appreciate you for watching my videos and uh, subscribing to this channel. And with that said, have a great day. Peace. May the force be with you.